In this tutorial, we'll be downloading and installing a Photoshop brush. We're going to do a Photoshop brush. However, if you're wanting a shape, it's the exact same process. For today, we'll be using BrushEasy.com. However, if you find a brush from anywhere online, it's the same, it's the same process. On Brush Easy, it, it may change throughout throughout the years as they change their um, website but right now you go to browse by category then we're going to scroll down and you go to brushes and then you'll be able to see a whole bunch of different brushes I'm not gonna waste time and look through stuff I'm just going to go to the first brush and click on it and you just click on free download you have to wait for this to go away and then you'll just see it downloading right here. Now when you download, your file is in what's called a compressed folder. So before you can do anything else, we have to extract the file. I just click right here on this little arrow and I go to show in folder. It will highlight your file and I'm going to right click, extract all, and extract. So now we have our file and it has been extracted. Or we have our brush and it has been extracted. So now when we go to Photoshop, it will be um, a usable file. So I'll come over here and close this down. I was working on a Stuco pass earlier. And I'm just going to do File, New, and just open up a random document and I'm going to go to my Photoshop brush and go right up here like I am choosing a brush and I'll go right over here to this over arrow and down to the middle where it says load brushes now I have to know where that went I tell you to change your downloads to go to your desktop so I'm going to click on desktop and look for my downloads at this point, I need to know what that brush was called. I don't have very much here, so it happens to just be right here, and it's called Flower Brushes. And I'm going to click until I can find it. I go Flower Brushes, and it is a square with a blue line at the bottom. Now, once I double click, if you just look over here, you'll see those brushes just flicker. And if I go towards the bottom, I now have a bunch of flower brushes. If I click, and you just click once, I now have those brushes and they are ready to use. Like I said earlier, it's the same process for a shape. You would just go to your shapes, and then you go to your custom shapes, and over and you go to load shapes. Everything else is exactly the same if you're loading a custom shape. And that's how you load a custom brush or a custom shape into Adobe Photoshop.